Okay, on the Chalupa Lovers, welcome to Spire Go Tesser, it's like a Jacob Rune Larson. The 19 year old life made us as a 74 overall. So, three star skin moves and four star weak foot, six foot, 165 pounds, right footed with medium, medium work rate. Some solid pace from the start with 81 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, then 76 agility, 73 balance. 67 jumping, 72 stamina, and 73 strength. And mentally, 68 aggression, 74 attack position, 66 composure, 58 interceptions, 75 reactions, and 68 vision. So pretty solid physically and mentally as we we'll take a look at his initial tactical attributes here, flipping over to them. So 75 ball control and dribbling, 69 crossing and curve, nice. Then 74 finishing, 61 heading accuracy, 54 long pass, 63 long shots, 55 marking, 74 short pass, 77 shot power, 55 stand tackle, not bad for a winger actually, then the 63 volley, so uh, a bit of a taller winger clearly being 6 foot, uh, some solid physical attributes from a start with his um, pace, and not too bad of strength either, definitely can hold off some of the weaker fullbacks from a start, so a plus 3 to his overall in that first season with the balance and jumping up by a point, along with the strength, and a plus 2 to his sprint speed, and a plus 3 to his stamina, and a plus one to his composure, reactions, and vision there. So some good improvements physically and mentally in this first season. But technically, though, big improvement to the ball control up by six. Crossing up by five. A plus four is dribbling and finishing. Short pass up by four. And a plus three to his shot power. Along with some growth to the tackling there and a few other attributes. As up to the 80 overall at age 21. Uh, with the acceleration up by two, agility, sprint speed, and strength up by points, and a nice plus five to his stamina. So 80 stamina can definitely track back quite a bit. Mentally, vision up by two, then the attack position, composer interceptions, and reactions up by a point. And tactically, uh, ball control and crossing up by three, a plus four to the finishing, long pass improving by three points, a plus two to his long shots, and the short pass improving by five to get to the 83. So really good ball control finishing and, sh and short passing ability at the moment. As you get a plus one here at age 22, uh, to getting some improvements though, to the agility up by two points, a plus for the sprint speed, balance jumping and stamina up by point, and mentally some good improvements to the attack position, reactions, and vision there. Then tactically, uh, not too much growth, just kind of some plus ones and plus twos to ball control. Uh, you can see crossing curve, dribbling, short pass, and a few other attributes there also. So looking very good, he's, he's actually not too far away from his potential now here at age 23. Hitting that 83 overall with the sprint speed now up to the 95, balance improving by two points and a plus one to stamina and strength. So 76 strength, very solid along with the 82 stamina and the vision up by point to get the 74 mark. Technically, ball control up by four points, crossing at the 81 thanks to a plus two, dribbling up by four along with the long pass, a plus one to the short pass, shot power up by two and a plus three to his stand tackle. So now 84 overall. At age 24, he may have hit his potential here actually, but again, that minus one glitch is also actually affecting these growth tests basically. Uh, as I have to take a look at basically the uh, type in all the the attributes into the Sofifa calculator uh, to figure out when he's hit his potential and if he has or not. And I believe he did this season as he did not grow in any more than any other tactical, physical, or mental attributes. So age 25, it seems he hit his potential of 85. So his potential is 85 overall. And again, when I did put his physical, mental, and tactical attributes all into the Sofifa calculator, it does show him as 85 overall, which you'll see in a bit. So physically ends up with 85 acceleration, 80 agility, 77 balance, 70 jumping, 95 sprint speed, 82 stamina, and 77 strength. Mentally, 77 attack position, 70 composure, 61 interceptions, 81 reactions, and 74 vision. So uh, pretty solid physically, not too bad with some of those mental attributes. Technically, 92 ball control, 84 crossing, 72 curve, 85 dribbling, 82 finishing, then 72 long pass and 63 hitting accuracy, 66 long shots, 58 marking, 87 short pass, 84 shot power, 50 slide tackle, 62 stand tackle, and 68 volley. So technically some really good ball control dribbling. Gotta love the crossing, finishing, short pass, and some good shot power. Some nice powerful shot on him. And not too bad with the stand tackle and marking ability as his winger. Like I said before, can help out quite a bit tracking back for you. So he's six foot, right footed with medium, medium work rates, four star weak foot, 
and three star scamos. We'll see if he picked up any specialties here. So did end up with that speedster specialty, no other specialties, but still very good at physically and tactically nonetheless. As to round out this video, we'll take a look at the individual growth of each attribute here. So the crossing grew by 15, finishing up by 8, a plus 13 to a short pass. Volley's up by 5, dribbling up by 10, a plus 18 to his long pass, and the ball control up by 17. The acceleration, agility, and balance up by 4, sprint speed up by 10, and a plus 6 to his reactions. Then the shot power up by 7, jumping and long shots up by 3, stand up by 10, and the strength up by 4, and mentally, and it's plus 9 to his posi positioning. Interceptions up by 3, vision up by 6, and a plus 4 to his composure. Then defensively, marking up by 3 and a plus 7 to a stand tackle, along with a slide tackle. And as I said before, he did reach his potential, uh, according to the Sofia calculator, of 85 at right mid, left mid. Also, 85 as a winger, 83 as a can, which is pretty solid, 84 as a center forward, and 82 as a striker. So maybe you tuck him in centrally as a can also if he wants. 80 as a center mid is not too bad either if you want to maybe play him in that role. Could certainly help out with his stamina and some decent marking and tackling, so it could actually be fairly effective as a center, center mid also for you. So with that, my beautiful Chalupa lovers, I'm sorry about this new little minus one glitch. I mean, not really my fault, but it's kind of why I did not post too much this last weekend or want to play career mode. It's just kind of frustrating. It doesn't really seem to affect too much actually with the general overall, like their actual, like their actual attributes, but it seems like it's more aesthetic, aesthetic thing but either way, it's very annoying. I know a lot of people are frustrated by it, and I was too, just because the fact that it wasn't showing them hitting their potential and stuff uh, when I was doing a batch of growth test. But still, I appreciate all your support. Do watch my previous video, which was the five changes needed in FIFA 20 career mode uh, video. Watching that, supporting that, liking that up will help out a lot on the channel, as I do think I have some good suggestions. But with that, guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy the, your holidays. Enjoy your vacations. Enjoy your weekends. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. I love you. I'll be signing out now, and I'll catch you guys later.